Ono hakcha. Ono hakcha. What does it mean? If you notice, the word in red letter is ono. Because today, on one Korean word a day, we're going to study ono. Let's start. Learn Korean one word at a time only here at Day Hangul. Word number 214. Ana. Ana. This is pronounced as a two syllable word. The first syllable is an and the second syllable is a. Pronounce it with me. Ana. Ana. The word ana is the Korean term for language itself. I mean language in general. Again, ana is the Korean term for language. How do we write ana in Hangul? It is composed of two syllables. And to be able to write the first syllable on, we need to draw first a placeholder ian followed by the a character followed by the nian character. For the second syllable a, we need to draw first a no sound ian followed by the a character itself. If you notice, both syllables have an Ian character at the first position of the syllable, and those are just for the purpose of place holding. Anyway, we just have to combine the hangle for each of these syllables to form the hangle of the word ana. Now let's try to look into this English term, linguist. A linguist is a language scholar. Again, linguist. The Korean translation of this term is ono hakcha. Again, ono hakcha. If we will dig deep about the term, the ono part, which is our word for today, means language. And the hakcha part of the term ono hakcha actually means scholar. So when we say ono hakcha, it's the same as saying language scholar. And if we will go back to the English term mentioned a while ago, it's linguist. And a linguist is actually a language scholar. Again, ono is language. And with that, you've just learned ono. Now let's proceed to the previous 10 words recap. As of now, the previous 10 words are words number 204 to 213. But don't forget our word for today, word number 214, ono, which means language. Word number 213 is ne, which means my or my. Word number 212 is mori which means head or hair. Word number 211 is tonada. This is a root verb which means to leave. Word number 210 is suyong, which means swimming. Word number 209 is yangpa, which means Onion. Word number 208 is cha, which means car or tea. Word number 207 is kion, which means cute. Word number 206 is chuesungheyo means I'm sorry in a polite manner. Word number 205 is pang, which means room or chamber. And the last for our review, word number 204, nodo, which means you too. Congrats! Learn Korean one word at a time, only here 
a day hangar. Thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more Korean words.